Huh. I still don't really understand the concept of primer sprays, but that's just what I'm going to use today. I'll use just this so that I can see how it works. So guys, welcome back to my channel. I saw this post on social media, Instagram to be precise. A group of close to 30 women in a church at Ikosi Ketu, Ketu need the services of a good moa that can get to the venue by 7 a.m. this Sunday. Budget is 2k for makeup and gilly. Thanks. Thanks. Thank God the person who added thanks. I saw this post and I was shocked. And I was like, what? What's 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 going on here? What's happening? What was more heartbreaking about this post is the comments. Like people were actually rooting for the job. Like they wanted it. They, some people saw nothing wrong with it. Even makeup artists saw nothing wrong with it. And you know those kind of things where they'll be like, I'm here, I can do it, you know, all those kind of things. So that's that's like where i feel the problem is that's where the main problem is and that's what we're going to be talking today that's all we need to address not even the person that posted obviously i can decide to come out and ask for a service of one thousand naira. that's me asking but the people that are giving the service for them to want to do it ah, that means there's a problem so my fellow makeup artist i think it's high time we had a discussion about this whole thing like let us discuss even if you're not a makeup artist and you do one business or the other, I feel like this video could be it's something that you need to also hear. We need to discuss, we need to we need to have an agreement, we need to agree. So I'm going to be getting ready as well, having this discussion. I've already sprayed my face, you know, the setting primer spray. Then I moisturize my face with sheer butter. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I'm using these days. Just not these days. I've just I've only used it like how many times i'm here saying these days i'm lying so guys let me just share my own experience before we can now talk about how we want to handle this situation because i feel like the fault is from all the makeup artists it's not even from the people that are requesting for the service so now i got this message from somebody i'm going to also show you guys because I, I feel like i need to show you guys as, I, as i'm talking i need to be showing you guys what what is really up the person that contacted me from the job is from a company and they wanted to do makeup for a two days shoot so he called me and told me about it. They have a shoot, this one, that one, that one. You know, I've done some jobs for them before. And I was like, I was excited. I'll be free. He said, will you be free Tuesday, Wednesday? I said, I'll be free. So he now sent me a WhatsApp message. He said, so we are paying 50K. I said, okay. And I said, for how many days? He said, two days, Tuesday and Wednesday. I've not even asked for the number of people. And I was already surprised, like, I know that we don't really do deals like this. I give you my weights, you know, and then you now say, okay, this is what you can give. But he just sent me a message, you are paying 50K. And I'm like, what is going on? He said, she's there on Wednesday. And I said, does this include transportation? He said, how do you mean, please? Is transportation inside the 50K? I had to re-ask. Is transportation inside this 50K they were going to do for two days? He said, that's the fee and marked for makeup for two days ma how many people am i doing makeup for first day 15 second day 20. why well, you want to pay me fifty thousand naira? and he said touch-ups and touch-ups so the, it doesn't just end in the makeup i'm going to still be there for touch-ups because i know i know how all these shoots work you have to be there throughout the day touch up and everything and i said how about 50k and i said how many guys how many ladies and i said anita there is no serious making up there's nothing i hate like that statement there is no serious makeup. This is a guy telling me this. A guy that knows nothing about makeup. A guy that doesn't do makeup. A guy that has never worn makeup. And you're telling me there's nothing, there's no serious makeup. What do you know about serious and no serious makeup? Light makeup doesn't mean on serious makeup. <laughs> so you're saying there's no serious makeup. I said, okay. Okay. We now talked on the phone. And I told him, oh God, this is 50K. It's a small something. You know, somebody might be looking at it like, ah, 50K, two days, you just go do the job, 50K. But are you looking at the number of people that he has mentioned here? 15 people on day one, 20 people day. So that's 35 people. So even if I'm collecting 11K from each person, that's 35K. And you have not even talked about transportation. And why would I even collect 11K to do makeup for people? Like, when I'm not mad. 15 people... First of all, I, I told him I can't even do 15 people's makeup. 
for a shoot because i know how they get to rush people when they are doing a shoot they'll be rushing you rushing you rushing you and just do fast do fast do fast at the end of the day when they start the shoot they'll still be calling you touch up look at her this her this thing is not well done this one that one that one so in that kind of brush i cannot put myself under that pressure that it to just be me doing the makeup even two people might not be able to do it because five people alone is a large number of people that you will do makeup for although there are guys in this equation i know that there will be some guys but majority of them will be ladies and even if it's just 10 ladies that are involved it's a lot and he even said that this shoot was from 7 a.m to 6 p.m guys what manner of it's just an offer it's just something that okay they're offering it's now left for me to accept or not Tell him, i'll be shooting myself in the leg if i take this job you know the reason i had not even stopped the conversation since like i kept on pushing this conversation like okay are you guys really sure 50k is small and everything the reason i wasn't pushing it is because this is a company that i've done you know stops with before and i i didn't just want to wave it off like that if it was just a random person that called me and is telling me okay in name wants you to do a job two days so 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 amounts this and that one that one telling me this 50k since the conversation would have ended i'll say sorry ma please i can't do it that's how to end but this is a company i've worked with and i know that they do shoot all the time and i'm like you know i could get other shoots that might not be like this so i didn't just want to cancel on them but then i now thought to myself that if i accept this job right first of all i'm running at a huge loss because i'll have to call somebody in and i have to pay the person the pros i'm using they are not free you get and then transportation is also involved i have to take an uber to the place the person that i'm paying to come is going to collect money for transportation so how does 50k cover everything here like it's, it was so unreasonable so i just said i really can't do this i didn't even have much see this is me broke me broke me that was you know having this conversation with myself i was just so broke but i'm like if i take this job i'm going to be running at a loss i might go on with money but my products will be you know gone and i'm starting of how to replace it how am i supposed to replace it and secondly this kind of thing if you take this kind of job tomorrow when they have another job they will still be expecting you to take that same amount or even less in fact they might even feel like okay if you can take 50 50k you can if you give her 40k she might just accept or something you know that kind of thing you know how that's how it works and maybe when they even get a big job or a bigger deal they might even go for a makeup artist that gave herself levels and i just said to myself that i'm not going to take this job let me stay in my house and watch him so i'm probably pray for another job a better job to come at this point in time so guys i feel like we makeup artists are the ones that have to set the pace for everything that has to do with clients pricing payment and stuff it's in our hands not in their hands because if they can get a good makeup for two thousand that person that asked for a makeup artist for two thousand naira has obviously gotten makeup done for her for two thousand naira before or has not done makeup professionally like nobody has done her makeup professionally that's why they're asking for that but if if we are not giving that kind of service then they would ask for that kind of thing like they won't belittle you like that if that's not what you're giving if that's if they don't find stuff like that you get i don't even get what i'm trying to say so it's in our hands guys our, we are the ones that own it what am i supposed to do next i'm forgetting myself take a look at photographers i always try to use them as an example i feel like photographers have done a very good job at setting a standard for themselves like doing a photo shoot is luxury people don't just wake up and decide to have a photo shoot or decide to call a photographer to their house to snap them just because you know they are going for a wedding and you just come and snap them just like that makeup is luxury like getting makeup from makeup artists is luxury it's not just a random thing that you just get so if you actually want that you should actually be willing to you know pay for it and it's our job to make it that way not their job because if they can get in fact i feel like <laughs> it's get a point where you know somebody will just wake up and be like okay 
I feel like looking fine today. You know, I have 1,000 in my bag. Let me just call a makeup artist to come and do, you know, glam me up and everything. And the next thing, they're placing a call across to you. It shouldn't be like that. I feel like Lagos Island people have done a good job at setting the standard when it comes to makeup. But there are so many other places in Lagos that it's different. So, it's in our hands. We need to help ourselves. You might be thinking, okay, I'm an upcoming makeup artist. We're all upcoming though. We're upcoming. We're upcoming. I prefer to do gather models, do free makeup, you know. In fact, even pay the models and do makeup to use that to promote your work because that might that's even what is going to promote your work better when you're working on a model you have the luxury of um creating what you want to create on the person like you just create whatever look you want to create on that person so your work will be portrayed better you might go for that client job and it might not turn out the way you expected you get so you can't use that as a yardstick to say you want to use it and promote your work. What if the person says that the person doesn't want you to take pictures? What will you do? And for those clients, do you think that tomorrow they want to come and pay you more? Do you think that someone that paid you 3,000 naira today will want to pay you 8,000 naira tomorrow for makeup? No. The person will not do that. Instead, when the person has that 8,000 naira, they will go and give that person that they contacted the first time that told them that the makeup is thousand naira. So if you think that okay, because you're upcoming, you need to be able to take such a certain amount, such a certain amount. You need to be able to accept whatever they give you. I don't think that is the right way to grow. We might. <sighs> Guys, don't know what happened to me right now. I just went out now. I just went out like this. I went out looking like this to the gate to get a package that was just sent from a lashes, lashes company. So I guess this is what I'm going to use because it's lashes and I've not gotten to the lashes part. Bedazzle. Bedazzle is the name of the company. Oh. Send me three packs, three packs. This is the one I like. This is actually from my friend. Like we used to be friends in secondary school, very close friends in secondary school. But you know, after secondary school, everything just, we just became regular friends because we didn't go to the same university. So I'm really happy about these lashes. Do you know what it means? It's going to save me money, lashes money. I'm not going to buy lashes for this, but wait though. This one looks fine. I'm not going to buy lashes for for some time. But I actually really, really like this. I didn't even take a look at this. I really, really like this. I think this is what I'm going to use because I'm already used to this type. And your ears already know what it looks like on me. So let me just continue. I'm going to draw my brows. My brows are all done. And the next thing I'm going to be applying is eyeshadow. As I am like this, I'm confused. Maybe I'll do a blue smoky eye. Hmm. I'm putting on blue. Although I'm going to change this this dress when I want to go out. This is my makeup dress. So as I was saying, the long and short of everything is that we makeup artists, we need to do better. We need to come to an agreement, guys. We need to come to an agreement. So let's just agree what should be our standard price. I think 5k is fair. For me, so when I do 5k jobs, I don't I hardly do a job that that's 5k except I'm already there and I just want to do another person's makeup and something but I will not come out of my house to go and do a job for 5k I don't have a studio so I have to go out to do jobs most of the time how much do I use to transport myself am I just going to suffer myself you know that people get waste pain from these things if you say that you want to just do job just do plenty because you want to do plenty have you considered growth how do you grow? You can't grow like that too. There's someone that co contacted me for a, a bridal job and she was pricing me. She was pricing me 20k. I told her, as first I told her 50. So she was pricing 20. Because I know the girl. So she was just like, ah, do not have money. I don't have money. You know, I should give them a fair deal. I was like, okay. I started with 50. 
And she said, oh, she doesn't have, she doesn't have 50. I said, okay, will she pay 40? She said, ah, no, you know, just talk. And I said, okay, how much do you want to pay? Because sometimes you have to ask the person, what's the person's budget first, though? Before you be there by gaining what is way above their budget and you don't know that you're wasting your time. She doesn't say she paid 20. I was like, ah, no, 20 is small and everything. And I told her, okay, she should bring 35. I don't even tell outsiders 35, like people that I don't know. I don't tell them. 35 you know since it's bridal bridal jobs have more involvement and stuff so i shout to her to bring 35 she said she said ha she ended the chat in ha and then she didn't say anything I'm like, okay fine maybe she's not interested in this stuff she didn't contact me again the next time she contacted me was when she said uh, that she has found somebody to do the makeup She even tagged the person, like she dropped the person's handle, Instagram handle, in the message that she sent to me. I don't know whether she was trying to be petty, like to tell me, oh, I've gotten it. That thing you were telling me, 35, I've gotten it. She's even going to get it for me. The makeup artist is even, you know, good, probably sending me the person's um, handle so that I would check. Obviously, I would check now. Like, who is this person that wants to collect 25k to do that makeup? So, Apparently, I feel like that makeup artist has been in business for, you know, for some time. I'm like, okay, fine and good. You know, you got a better deal. Fine and good. But sometimes I just look at all these things like, how do you grow? So you say, okay, if I do 25, I'm going to get more jobs, more jobs, more jobs. And then you now do how many jobs in a day? Let's just say you get three brides to do in a day. Or you get brides every, every Saturday in a month and you make like 100k. And then there's the makeup artist out there that is taking like 80k. Somebody that is on your level because the makeup artist she tagged me like her handle. She has been doing makeup for some time. And then let's say somebody that is on her level will now take 80k. One like for one bride, one Saturday. This babe has gone on, gone home with 100k, fine and good. But every Saturday you've gone out, you've spent money on transportation, you've spent money on probably somebody that is going to assist you to do the makeup. You've spent you've stressed your waist you have you know and everything and everything and everything and then the other person has done a makeup job once like in one day and she has made 80k even though she didn't make as much there are people that charge 100k but let me just use 80k um, for this um, example and she has taken her 80k and she has gone home she went once she spent transportation once and has done the job and her job and has gone home and you find out that most of the clients that are willing to pay good money you end up getting those kind of clients that will be they are usually nicer to be honest people that that price 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 sometimes they their demands will be so high when you get there and stuff what if your your product gets missing how do you want to replace it you now start getting angry but if the person pays you well you know so much there's a lot of compensation for that but you now that's for me smart you have done four weeks 25k you have got 100k transportation alone from that money has taken over like let's just say 20k for the four saturdays 55k each going and coming has taken 20k out of it already so that's like penny wise pound foolish in my opinion sha but people can still do you know maybe somebody if you're broke if you're broke <laughs> you can take some kind of amounts especially when it comes like bridal if it's something that you know that you're not going to be running at a loss then you know you can do it have you liked this video yet Please do so. Okay? So I'm done with my eyes and this is what they're looking like right now. I use my bedazzled lashes and I'm dazzling. I am dazzling. I actually like the lashes. So let me just finish everything then we can round up our story.
okay i am done and all we need to do is setting spray to bring it all together i've already sprayed small before but i was not recording so i have to do this on camera i need to show you guys but i already have setting spray let me not do it <laughs> so my dear brothers and sisters i don't know i feel like this story was a bit scattered especially after the break in transmission i didn't even know what i was saying again but you get what i'm trying to say Sha. let us just try let us do better be you a makeup artist a photographer a an art just a an artist anything creative anything creative creative industry this is skill and you should have value for your skill let, let us not settle for less and you should also give out good good um, good work it should not just be okay put your price out there but you're not giving out good service if you don't give out good service if you go to the client's place and you do rubbish or you because after the person has paid a certain amount the person will expect something good so if you don't do something good either you lose their customer or maybe somebody will even kick you out of their house that one is between you and your customer but you know we should value put a nice price tag so we should give good service put a good price you know so that's just it i believe i've succeeded in convincing and not confusing you guys that makeup is luxury it's a luxury to get makeup done from a professional makeup artist okay okay thanks for watching and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye